Okay, this is the this is a cold start for the Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint. When you're ready, Emma Jane. Get up into third as well, there, Emma Jane. Yeah, even on that short little stretch. It's uh, obviously a classic, so it's only a four speed box, I think, in this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to give it a bit more revs. Yeah, don't be afraid to rev it a little bit. These were designed to go for some good revs. As I said, Emma Jane doesn't uh, tend to drive it too much, but it seems to be plodding along nicely. A bit of a rattle from something in the boot. I think that'll be the number plate on top of the, the spare steel wheel. wheel. Yeah, yeah. So just going to go on a little bit of a road, route there. Um, I might even, if you can pull over to that lay-by, I might even pull over and remove that plate because the people watching the video might start thinking, oh, what's that? <laughs> and as you can see from the other videos, it's it's very nice and clean underneath, but we don't want that rattling along. So yeah, if you just keep it running. All right, we're back on the road again. Just as I said, the spare number plate that was in the boot. Um, we just remove that. So yeah, just a bit of a busy single track road here on the Isle of Man. clearly been restored at some point in its earlier life and you can see that when you look underneath as well and probably explains why the suspension feels all right um, and we believe it's been set up to sort of stock factory settings um, nothing been sort of fiddled with as such um, and it's yeah it's doing all right she's a good original yeah in terms of the dialogue 
miles yet now that we're running uh, on the road. They seem to be showing readings. Certainly the rev counter and the speedo is we're just up to about 40 miles an hour now in fourth. Probably could be a third. These engines are sort of quite good at that.